Three-phase automatic changeover system can be developed using different well-known components. Here, we are using the Atmega 328 microcontroller, which is commonly found in the Arduino Uno board. In our last development, we used passive electronics components and 55 Tama IC for our three-phase automatic changeover system, which was working just fine as expected. And in this video, we will guide you on how to build a simple three-phase automatic changeover system using a programmable microcontroller, precisely the one from the Arduino Uno board, and have it looking just like this. In making a microcontroller based three phase automatic changeover system, I use this simple block diagram, which started off with a phase input voltage supply, voltage value sensor, microcontroller, switch, trigger, and the LCD interface. With this basic information, an overview is made which explains the technology used for the project. I will give a simple rundown to each of these blocks as you can get the code, the schematic diagram and the detailed design information shortly at the end of the video. Starting with the first block, I have the power supply. This part comprises of the input power for the three phase which is built using a step down transformer, four bridge diode, filter capacitor and voltage regulator. The voltage regulator is used in communicating with the microcontroller and as such I use the LM7805 for that. The next block diagram is the voltage value sensor. In reading the input phase AC voltage from the Arduino board, we don't need to practically connect the AC source into the Arduino board as it will blow and damage the Arduino board and probably many other things which will include you. So I have to still use the power supply for each phase and this time using a voltage divider network to lower the output DC voltage which the Arduino is compatible with. And with that, I can figure out the input AC voltage even without connecting to the two terminals. More details on the calculations you will get soon. Stay tuned. The next block diagram is the microcontroller, switch, trigger and the LCD interface. These parts are more or less work in the actual code and basic analog electronics. So let's dive into the actual project by assembling the components. I started by assembling the basic parts on the breadboard. Without the step down transformer, which is acting as the sensor to the input voltage, I used a boost converter module to simulate different voltage levels for the input AC voltage. As you can see, the DC output voltage from the boost converter module, which is displayed on the multimeter, is different in the relative AC voltage shown on the LCD display. And of course, this result corresponds to the lines of code we programmed into the system. To get a clear understanding of how the voltage measurement works, we will look at the complete circuit diagram of the project and the code written to control the system. This is the circuit diagram and as you can see, we have three different AC to DC converters which goes in for the three phase voltages that we are building upon. The output of the three AC to DC converters is fed to the Arduino through the 5 voltage regulator IC which in our case is the 7805 chip. The regulator is essentially used since the Arduino board and the microcontroller tolerate a working voltage range of 0 to 5 volt, and any voltage above 5 volt will damage the board. Going further on how we measure the AC voltage using the Arduino, we utilize the functional characteristics of a simple transformer. From earlier studies, we know that a transformer works in a mutual inductance principle. We simply means that as the input voltage at the primary coil increase, the output voltage also increases. These changes such as the increase and the decrease of voltages at the secondary coil relative to the input voltage at the primary coil is gotten through the tone ratio. Tone ratio is the number of times the primary tone is higher than the secondary tone and as we all know in transformers the higher the tone the higher the voltage and that simply means that the primary tone would always have a high voltage relative to the secondary tone. So, we can deduce from this that as we have a tone ratio, we can as well have a voltage ratio which is equal to the tone ratio. In order to measure high voltage AC on Arduino using transformers, we need to first calculate the voltage ratio of the particular transformer we are using. I could have used a designated voltage sensor for this particular project, just that I felt I could still use a simple transformer in order to make the project less costly. 
So I'm now using a transformer for the power supply for the phase voltage and also as a voltage sensor. This is the transformer that I use for the project and from the description I have its primary tone rated 220 volt AC and the output voltage rated 12 volt AC. So if I calculate the voltage ratio I will have 220 volt divided by 12 volt which will equal to 18.3. This simply means that the voltage value at the secondary tone will always fall 18.3 times of the input voltage. So if we have let's say 200 volt AC at the primary tone, the relative output secondary voltage will be 10.9 volt AC. This is gotten by actually using the voltage ratio formula. So we have 18.3 equals to 200 divided by V2. Making V2 the subject, we now have 200 divided by 18.3 which equals to 10.9 volts. Now, we can't read the low voltage AC still on Arduino yet. Rather, we will first read its DC equivalent in a very compatible range of 0 to 5 volts. And to do that, we will use a voltage divider network at the output of the DC part of the AC to DC converter. From the circuit, you can see that I use 100K and 10K for the voltage divider network. I calculated this value to measure the voltage from 0 to 450 volt AC without having the input on the Arduino board AC 5V. You can always calculate yours if you are using the ESP board. Now, looking at the logic used for the three phase changeover system, I programmed the device such that at all intervals the system will be automatically active and that is achieved using the if statement. The lines of code are really easy to follow as I added comments in order to explain the lines better. After I have completed the basic assembly on the breadboard using lead for each of the phase, I assembled the remaining components. With the cut out vero board, I started soldering. I started with the IC socket and the rectifier. The relays we are soldered in place and the next is the discrete electronics components. After completing this pass, I have the board looking like this. I connected other utility components using a cable as I have the LCD and the battery clip in place. Having the assembly up to this extent, I connected the IC chip onto the socket. Note, I have to correctly do this, if not, I will have the IC chip destroyed. Powering up the assembly, I have the system perform just as expected and the voltage reading was exactly to my supply value. I'm currently running my powers from the generator system and obviously the generator needs some servicing and as such, that is why the voltage value is very low. Next is the packaging. And to do that, I'm using a 6x9 adaptable bus. And after I have completed the packaging, I have the system looking like this. The body fitting was absolutely nice and I like the physical look. Powering the system, the device obviously shown some write-up as I got to design the system basically for a departmental project that I was invited to be of an assistance. The system was tested with lightning point and the result was absolutely amazing. Dropped all the list of materials for this project on the video description below and I would love to be of help for you if you will be doing this project. Remember to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon in order to personally get notified when I make the next upload. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next project. Do have a blissful day.